to uh, start with the display and layout uh, category so in this there are like many uh, fields that you can see so from this we are going to cover few of the uh, fields or components we can say in the today's video yeah so let's start with the html element uh, component so let me as usual let me drag and drop this html element component uh, let me just put okay let it be so here we can see the tag so what is this html element uh, component right so whenever in the traditional coding uh, in html we have those all uh, tags right the paragraph tag uh, the header one tag or header two header three uh, div whatever right so all these uh, tags are there so those are called as html tags so that we can create using this html element component so this is mostly used to like uh, give any header uh, for our a page maybe let's suppose uh, we are building a page where we want to write a header as uh, personal information okay so this is the header of our page so here what we will give uh, the tag would be maybe h1 tag and this is the content of it uh, save and close so this is something would be rendered in this fashion so we can see on a page we have added the html tag uh, which is having that h1 as a tag name and this is the content inside it and the same will render uh, when we preview this so let me just preview quickly okay so as you can see this is rendered so similarly uh, we can add the different tags here I can put it a uh, paragraph tag which is given by P uh, so I can give it here and immediately you can see the change over here also in the designer mode and the same will be reflected once we preview that so yeah now this is a paragraph uh, tag and this is the content yeah so this was about HTML tag uh, here again it's like uh, we can like give this custom CSS classes if you want and again this is something with the styling so that we can give it here on the top of it okay so let's start with this add header thing okay so what is this uh, these are HTML elements attributes so like use only safe attributes like source href and title so if you want to add any source href or title to this HTML tag right whatever we have created so in that case we can give it here like we can put it here <coughs> we can put it here that thing uh, what is the label of it and what is the value for it so this is something we can use uh, these things are something not used that frequently but we have that feature so in real world when we use uh, this HTML element uh, we use this HTML element component uh, to mostly like uh, give this kind of a create this kind of a HTML tags a few more things of this HTML element uh, from the uncock documentation uh, you can go to the documentation part you can just click over here and here we can see the detailed uh, documentation of that HTML component so as I was saying like we can use tags right so here they have given uh, what are the different tags that we can use over here so these are the basic tags right that we can use and apart from that uh, we can also use this tags over here okay on that piece uh, and we are going to see the next uh, component which is called as content component or content window they are also the same tags which we are looking into this HTML tag documentation those would work and also I was talking about this table right which is about add attributes so whatever the tag that we have created so if you want to add the attributes to it uh, we can uh, do in this way so what are those I was talking about the URL and all so let's suppose yeah so here they have given like if uh, we want to add the attribute to that particular tag uh, we can define over here so what are those attribute if we are setting the value as href then whatever the value would be that exact hyperlink uh, or the URL okay so if we are like setting the value there or label as image then the URL of that source image like whatever the URL of that image would be the value that we would be putting over here in this way so this is about that uh, few other things that we can play around with HTML element component 
so yeah more you can just go through this uh, if anything that any use case you want to uh, do and if you want to get some guidelines you can just go through that yeah so moving on to the next one so in the next would be the content component as i recently said uh, we can use that html tag in this content component right so this is that uh, component so what is here like what this content component uh, facilitates is like we can write our own uh, html over here right so this content component window provides us a platform where we can write our own code when i say own code so here we have to tell the javascript or maybe html we want to write that we can put over here right so let me add here like this is header from content component so here if i write this so this is the html tag so normal html we can put put it over here and if i just refresh this after saving that module yeah we can see that thing yeah so this is rendered as the header too so we have written here right so also if we want to write the uh, css classes okay so that also we can put it over here so let's add that one thing i will just quickly show you how to add that css over here so what we need to do is like here let me remove this uh, we need to enclose this we need to create this node which is style node so what will happen whatever the css classes we want to put that we need to put inside this style node so now this is created and inside this i will write my own css classes so maybe let's take any class maybe it is called as test class okay so in this we can write our own css maybe i can write color as red okay so this is the class which i have created and this is the attributes of it and this class i can attach to this uh, html element right whatever i have created so as we have seen like we can add our custom css classes here so that is what this is the custom class that we have created which was done inside this content component and that we have uh, attached to this uh, html element which is of paragraph okay i have logged in again so see this is how we have uh, attached our class right so to this component so now the red color we have selected in this class this is applied to this so if you want to quickly see uh, the html code also of this so what happens at a back end is the test class is applied and the property of this test class is this this is what we have configured into that content component so this is one thing that we can do inside this content component like adding our uh, customize css classes okay if i if you want to play around with the uh, different components layout or ui components of this module and also let's take let's take an example where we want to write a javascript right so for writing any javascript what we need to do is right what we do what we need to do is we need to enclose this thing into a script tag or the script node so let me write it script here and i will write here as again the closing uh, node of that script yeah so here now we have a window where we can write our javascript so let i can write our any basic javascript or maybe complex javascript if you want to write so when this comes handy like where is the what is the need of like injecting our javascript inside it so maybe in few of the things or use cases you will require to use the javascript because few things maybe 99 percent is satisfied from uncog but one percent is not supported in uncog so in that case we can use our own javascript or html or css whatever we want so for that we have a liberty to use this content window uh, which we can use from the display and layout uh, category and use it here so yeah i was talk about, talking about the javascript so let me create a variable as maybe name and then let i'm just writing my normal basic javascript that we write usually in browser uh, console right so let's 
so okay so i have just created a variable with name as name and this i have just printed with this so let's see if that javascript gets execute so we are trying to console log that so now when we refresh this that javascript would run and in the console we are able to see this ram as a value that we have put it over here so yeah this was about the content component so to summarize here we can write basic to complex operation be it styles or be it javascript yeah so now let's go to the next one which is uh, table component okay so with this table component uh, we uh, i mean uncock provides a layout where a partition or a, a cells are already defined so let's suppose i want to create a table where number of rows are 3 and columns as 3 only okay so if i click save and close here it has provided as a layout and inside this layout now we can put whatever the components we want to put so if i want to put a text field over here i can put a text field here maybe if i want to use uh, anything like button so i can put it over here and now if i refresh this yeah now we can see the table is created and inside that table we have put these two things and other rows are blank so that is why we are you are able to see this blank uh, rows over here yeah this is pretty simple i think table component i don't need to explain this in detail uh, again like this are something like self explanatory uh, features of the table component so if i want to display the bordered cells if i want to display a border to that cells right the table cells i have just toggle on that button and here we can see that thing in a more cleaner way yeah this is not cleaner anyways because we have just put random things inside the table but yeah you can understand like what things we can do here 